Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you're going to know that the Vizio XS812 is in my opinion the best brushed GPS drone on the market. I've compared this with a lot of things, the SV900, the Eosheen E511, and it always comes out on top. In my, that is my opinion, obviously. But if you watch the videos, there's a lot of videos on this drone out there. But recently, I got this, which is the Z5. I've done a few videos of this, and I absolutely love this drone. Again, brushed. Spec-wise, very similar. Both 5G, both have a 1080p camera, both have a memory card slot, and they're very similar in size. In fact, they'd find a slightly bit bigger. Controller-wise, this one has a more modern type of controller, if you like. But perfect, flies really well with it, and the Vizio has a more hobby grade style controller. So, this is a difficult one for me because I love them both. But I have to say, this is now my favourite. This has taken over from this, and this is now what I'll use to compare 10 HP brush drones to. Because I think this flies better, I think the camera's negligible on both. But it's just the, f the fact that for when this is in the air, the stability is almost like a brushless drone. Don't get me wrong, I still love this, and this is a fantastic drone. But for the price point, I would go for this now over this but like I say there's not much in it if you've got this I wouldn't rush out and buy this one because this is perfectly adequate and there isn't that much difference enough difference for me to do it but the, the added things over this one this one doesn't have a, a movable camera this has one that's controllable from the transmitter sorry when I say movable I mean from the transmitter I actually prefer flying with this transmitter, which I didn't, when I first saw this transmitter, I didn't like it. But its resolution on the sticks is really good. It's slightly better, in my opinion, than this. This has a better GPS accuracy than this. So, in my opinion, this thing has less bounce when you stop than that does. The camera's, there isn't that much in it. Um, if anything, this maybe has a slightly sharper camera. But... As I say, there's not much in it. I would still go for this. They're both fantastic drones, and these two definitely are miles ahead, in my opinion, now of anything else that's in a brush GPS drone bracket. You saw the review of the the E511, and I, I flew it again since then, and, and I have to say, I'm just not impressed with it. I don't think it's that good a drone. It's all right, but it's expensive for what it is. If it was a 50, 60 pound drone, because that's what I think it's worth, it's certainly not as good as these two. So I would still go for that one, but if you've got this one, don't think, I wish I'd have bought that one now, you're going to be more than happy with it. But if I was buying a drone today, and it was one of these two, I'd buy this. Maybe buy it in black, because this thing gets dirty really quick. As soon as you land it in some grass, you have to clean it again. So, I'll leave you a comparison video coming up of the flight footage. I'll split the screen so you can see, and I still think this does look slightly better not that much this was filmed in better weather than this was so the light was better so you've got that as well but sharpness you need to look at on the video and this has a slightly sharper picture and it seems to pop the colors more this one seems to have more natural colors but you make your own mind up so from the point of view of which drone should you buy i'd pick this one if you've got this one be more than happy with it thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day